Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my amazing videos! Yeah! Alright, today I'm going to be attempting something outside. Now, it's not something normal that I do as a video, but... Well, one of my PCs decided to break on me during a, uh, a DJ thing that I was doing, but uh, anyways... Worked fine one before I went, then road trip there and get there and it breaks. So I'm pretty sure a few of you are familiar with taking a oven, like an oaster or something, and putting your uh, board or whatever inside of it and reheating the coils and blah blah blah, or whatever they are, the connections. I know, I'm the computer guy, what do I know? So... <clears throat> That's basically what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to show you real quick. So, as you can see right here, that's the board. Optiplex uh, 755. Something on it broke, I don't know what, and it's going in there. I know that's at 400 degrees and, well, it doesn't go to the proper degree where I need it, so... It's going to be about 8 to seven or eight minutes in there but right now it's preheating so here's a better angle of it I was using a front facing camera this is now the back facing but yeah once that does heat up in she'll go and I've already removed any components that uh, would melt in there because if I can get this don't make that fall this piece right here uh, was right here for the uh, audio which doesn't work anymore so maybe it'll fix it I don't know but anything like these parts or here or there it'll survive the heat because it's built for that and the top of this is heating up so I may have to move this before I cannot uh, touch it because that is heating up so one moment okay so moved it from there because the top of that was starting to heat up and I'm dropping stuff out here yeah. So yeah, uh, what you want to do is you want to take your stand, or what you normally would put in, put some foil on it, um, shiny side, dull side, whatever. Make the metal uh, well, foil balls and make sure that they're touching parts that you do not want fried. So that's why they are on the edges, so there's a good clearance and nothing is touching any components that would uh, detrify the whole baking process okay so with it now in there and yes I have the light on my phone it's in there decently I may need to put it down one more okay so put it down one more closing this up and timer oh whoops uh, mm. yeah, it'll be fine. Because apparently that's the uh, preheat timer, and I just stuck it in. So I'm gonna. S <laughs> oh boy, taking it out. Okay, so with the oven preheated, I'm going to now place that in there. And yes, it did get dark, so I had to place a light on. I may have to put the other one on. Okay, so f today for dinner, we are going to make a Dell Dimension, or <laughs> an Optiplex 755, which is still a Dell, uh, dinner. So, I'm going to go, and we're going to have that for 8 to 10, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's going to be from 7 to 8 minutes in there, so, yeah, hopefully this works, and hopefully... I don't kill anything, so I'm going to check it in seven minutes. But this is going to be fast for you guys, because I'm not going to hold this thing for seven minutes. So I've got this clock going counting down from seven minutes, so that when I go back outside to there, after this beeps from the microwave, it should be okay. Hopefully. Okay, so the timer went off, 7 minutes, so I'm going to pull it out and show you guys what the results. Okay, so there it is. I had to carefully slide it under there because it started coming off of this, because 
metal balls are not secure, so just move the tire out of the way. So I had to carefully remove it with these tools, don't ask me how. And yeah, so I set it down on a surface that isn't metal or cannot catch fire. And I, it is ooh, hot, very. This just came out of a 400 degree oven for seven minutes. So once this cools down completely, I'll see if I need to uh, put it back in and if anything works or not, and I'll let you guys know. See you then. Okay, so one thing I did see <laughs> is that right there. Come on, camera, focus. There. Where's the light? Light is up here somewhere. Oh, well. There we go. Gotta do that little trick with the light. That is... was... <laughs> You know those little beep sounds that come from a computer? Well, that's what that was. That right there. Um, apparently it was not proofed for heat, so it caved and melted. So I don't know if it's going to work ever again. Possibly not, but who knows. I've had miracle devices before, so it may just make itty bitty beep sound. Maybe. Okay, so one thing I did not record was uh, the test. It failed. So I'm going to put it right back inside and hope for a second run through there that it'll work. And I'll leave it in a little longer because seven minutes apparently is too short for this thing. So BRB. Okay, so it's back in, and I'm going to press that button, which apparently I forgot it had a lamp light. So, lamp light. Why did I say it like that? Whatever. Anyways, when I turned it on, or attempted to, it gave me flashing stupid stuff. Now, as you can see, that part right there that I showed you before, I'm none too worried about it. It wasn't beeping at me before, so it shouldn't beep again. Probably never will. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna leave it in a little longer, like I said, and if it doesn't work, uh, I'm just gonna give up on it. But if it works, I'll make a... I'll show you guys it working, so... I'll show you it only working and not when it's not working. So, see ya then. Alright, so, here it is just taken out and well that didn't fare too well but yeah you can see that right there come on camera yeah that's there it did the same thing on that one and those are sizzling from the bottom so they popped I knew I heard a pop sound, and I was like, oh, <laughs> so, uh, pulled it out. That thing works fantastic. But yeah. I'm still going to test to see if it works. That's, that's something I'm not going to back down on. Probably not the healthiest thing to do, but what do I have to lose, right? It's not anything important. Just a rigged together gaming PC that wasn't meant to be a gaming PC. So yeah. Like I said before, I'll get bleh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible with it working or not. Later. Okay, so the end result was it did not work. So out to the curb it goes. Sadly. So. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please do like and subscribe to me and Hike the Gamer. Till next time, see you later. Bye for now.